So, guys, I bought this sa mga aking mga friends. So, assorted pulboron type nila, tsaka isang classic pulboron. And this is mine. I bought six pieces na dried mango. Ito naman is kay Ate Mabel. Ate Mabel, parang ang kape sa Cyprus. Favorite niya yan, request na yan. So, yun. And I have something na yung pa ako kita. <laughs> this one. I don't know what is this. This is Crunchy Mushroom Original. Ayaw niya mag-focus. Mag-focus ka? Yun. <laughs> Crunchy Mushroom Original is 140. So, yun. 140 siya. So, yan. And, meron kaming cream salt. Kasi, alam nyo guys, sa Cyprus, yung maliit na ito is 4 euro. Is equivalent ng 200 pesos. So, ito, yung pinakamalaki is equivalent ng price is 200 pesos din. 199 siya. So, kaya bumili kami. Bumili din ako ng isa. Ayan, padala yan. So, ito, binili ko din o top. And, this one's assorted pastries ng Philippines. And, I have also the tarts. It's a mango tarts. This one. I bought. I bought four, five box. And, I bought this sampalok. Nag-iisa lang siya. So, wala kasi sampalok doon. Tama rin. Yun. And, to, mga padala. And, eto rin. Ah, pabili pala. So, these are ube from Goldilocks. Hopia. These are ube hopia. Yan. And, I think this one is mongo. Mongo hopia. Yan. So, and this one also is the ube. Uy, ube pa rin pala yun. Oh, wait lang guys. Mm, pork. Oh, pork. Mongo and ube. They have three flavor. So, yun guys. And the other pack also the same. And some soap. Mga soap na pampa beauty. Yan. And guys, I bought also a these are ear candles. I bought it from online. And gagawin ko siya doon pang kung sino gusto magpalinis ng tenga. Siyempre, minsan gusto mong mag-income. So, if I know how to make, why not? Yun. And dito sa isang luggage ko guys alam nyo laman nito nilagay ko siya sa loob ng punda ng unan so actually these are mangoes these are mangoes guys na binalot so mangoes in the paper and I packed that and I have there you see this one lahat yung dried fish so yun all the things I will put here and this will be my clothes I have some clothes here also so yun and some special things I have the important things I will pack it good and my backpack this one for my laptops and my gadgets so yun lang guys so guys nga pala PS na naman PS na naman guys, so one tips and ideas before kayo mag travel abroad abroad, abroad <laughs> so, kailangan tandaan nyo ang check ang kaibahan ng check-in luggage sa hand carry sa handbag, kasi guys sa handbag is lahat lang ng cloth papers and sa extra bag nyo is the gadgets or kailangan nyo pala ng backpack na pang gadgets na ganito. So, yun. So, lahat ng gadgets ko, dun ko ilalagay. And lahat ng clothes ko, secret. Isa hand luggage ko siya, inilalagay lahat ng clothes ko. So, tandaan nyo guys, bawal ang liquid sa hand luggage. First muna tayo sa hand luggage. Sa hand luggage is gadgets and clothes. So, yun yung tips ko sa inyo. So, at depende sa airline nyo, katulad kasi ako, katulad ko is, sabihin ko na, Qatar Airways ako. 
two times ako mawin ang Pilipinas, katarang sinakyan ko from Cyprus to, from Larnaca, Cyprus to Philippines. So, uh, they allow me to bring 7 kilos, but the maximum is 9 kilos in the hand luggage, guys. So, yun. Pero, huwag nyo naman exact ng 9 kilos, guys. Kung mga 8, 7, like this, um, yun ang maximum nyo. And sa uh, check-in luggage naman guys is lahat ng bawal dun yung ilagay. So yun. Basta wag lang special example sa liquids. Number one sa liquids guys. Lotion. Balutan nyo yung tip ng tapes. You put tapes on the top of the lotions and the packaging and everything. And so it won't leak. Diba? So, it won't leak all the liquids there. You don't spoil everything inside the luggage. So, yun, if this is my tips. And the other one is, for the food, um, pack it well. So, that is the one thing that I'm telling you. And don't bring too much. And don't, put, don't pack it like, you pack, I mean, to pack it well is, like, you just put in a ziplock plastic bag or not too much packaging Cause, because <laughs> English in ko na so I will speak English so some of my watcher can understand me so uh, okay. ako guys so in the check-in luggage you put all the food, the sharp things, the liquid, you put that on the check-in luggage, guys. So, an example, I will give you a tape. So, I have a liquid like this. So, you put it, you put tape on it so it won't spoil inside the luggage. Okay. So that is my tape and I put it in a plastic bag so I'm sure for it. And the food, it's sealed everything so I don't have any problem but if you want to bring some food that is open, you it's better to put it at Tupperware and seal it with the tapes and put plastic on it for the, for the secure of the food. So you won't spoil the liquid inside the luggage so they don't see it. Because if they saw that in the x-ray, well, it's a big problem. And guys, uh, one tip is on the check-in also is the sharp thing. Especially I, I bring one sharp thing. But it's okay. But I put it in the check-in luggage. So it will not have any problem on it. It's just like a scissor. So it's good. But never put that in a handbag. The one that you have to carry with you. You don't bring any sharp. Except the gadgets. I'm telling you. Except the gadget, the phone, the cameras, and the laptop are with you. The wires is okay. They have no, they, it's a considerate. So, that's it. And, what else? Comment down below if I, if you want to add more tips and ideas for putting the luggage. And, guys, if you're allowed 20 kilos, or check it in the airline, how many, in Qatar is 23, 23 is the two luggage, check-in luggage. So, but I'm not gonna put 23 because I'm not allowed. So I just put 20 kilos on it. So maximum of 20 kilos I have, or 21, I'll make it. And what else? Eh, that's all. So and special guys like this you see how i make it i pack it with a tape so i secure everything not to spoil so it's in the check-in luggage everything all liquid sharp things lotions perfume don't bring especially every time i come home some kababayan they put perfume in a handbag guys put at home the perfume and put in the check-in luggage guys don't bring it with you it is always the problem in the security and it's waste of time for spending time on it so if you don't want to spend too much time in the airport in the security check 
follow the rules and regulation guys so you love so that's a tip um, what else the makeups you can bring some makeups only but not too much you put it in a small containers if you want hmm. okay. especially the important is the passport guys so I have this thing the passport holder that I have all my passport my passport and my visas are here my old visas this is my old but I have it because sometimes they ask the old visa like make photocopy on it so I have here my passport this is my passport so this with you always and don't left it anywhere so guys and I have the how oh, show you I want to show you something guys this is the OA, OEC they said last year, this is my last year OEC <laughs> this is my last year OEC you see uh, they only took half of one page but they put a copy me three so guys I will tell you if you are changing employer this is one idea also for everyone that is first time to go back yeah, all who are change employer you are you have the responsibility to go to the OWA before you go back and update your OEC. This is what it means. Okay. So you can go to the OWA to the POEA and pay I forgot how much is it? It's for two years guys. So to all only the change employer and if you are not a change employer, just update your OEC. Just to update it online, they have online, so update and print it. So if they ask you when you come back in the everywhere, the world, so you have the copy like this, just print and update it. So I gave you some tips, guys, and this will be with you if they ask. They ask you to. If they ask, and they will take one copy on it. And what else? You guys, if you have jewelry also, and uh, you put it in your hand luggage, your small back, backpack or small hand carry bag with all your jewelry there. So, and one tip, don't bring too much jewelry, guys. Because if they saw you, you put too much jewelry and you have too much jewelry inside your bag, you will bring the security. This is one. And don't bring too much like you have a hand luggage, the small, small luggage uh, like this. I will show you. This one or my small luggage, you guys. So okay, guys, that's it. So if you have that, uh, you can put only seven kilos on that, and I think only three kilos here because if they have only ten kilos, that's why they make like that. But don't bring too much, like only the backpack and the small luggage is good but you don't bring two of this two of that and one is not good guys so don't make any thing that the security can see on you and one tips also is to be natural and don't be very aggressive you know like innocent naive things inside the airport because the security are very what do you call it? strict or they will think what what's the problem on you don't make things that they can see to you a problem that is one of my tips on you so you know guys so that's it I told you if I forget something and I will make again next time something but only that so always secure and present of mind and always secure your luggage guys don't leave things anywhere especially the important things and for the chicken luggage always put luck and some ribbon so you know because sometimes if you don't put ribbon some 
you have the same luggage sometimes and you took your luggage wrong so you have to put something that it will be a um, so you can notice what if it's the luggage you like this what I need I my, my, my sister gave me this and I put she put this thing so I know I put ribbons on it you see I put ribbon on it so so I will know my luggage I will not take a wrong luggage so that's that's on the tip so thank you guys thank you for watching guys subscribe and likes but I forgot to tell you again <laughs> watch the video finish it if you can finish it with a minimum for me is five minutes so finish everything and hit the like button and the ring bells and comment down below and the subscribe so everyone will be subscribed and no problem on the spam area so it's better like that guys so thank you so much for watching all my vlogs all my video i enjoy my holiday this year too much and i'm very happy that i see my mom and my family so and next month it will be a another vlog very nice vlog a surprise vlog so keep watching and stay tuned for more of my videos thank you guys good night here in the philippines bye so nakalampas ako ngayon sa migration Oh, nice. Gilas Pilipinas, nasa unahan ko. Nakikita nyo ba yun? Hello guys! So, nakarating na ako ngayon dito sa bahay. So, 
magpapahinga na ako. Magda-day off ako mamaya. So, see you again next video. Bye!